Hey guys, it's Molly. I'm going to do a piece that was actually recommended to me by an Instagram follower. Her name is Tony Grant, so thank you. When I did the three corner blowout, she said, wouldn't it be really cool to do a four corner blowout and do the four elements? So, and I always want to say earth, wind, and fire, but that's not quite it. It is um, earth, air, fire, and water. So I don't know a ton about it. I actually researched it a little bit and I'll talk to you as I paint to tell you what I learned. I am not an expert in any means um, in this topic, but I thought what really cool color inspiration. So I'm gonna go for a four corner blowout tonight and without further ado, we'll get started. Um, I took a little bit of uh, Creative Liberty here, and I added some gold, copper, and bronze in there. Um, but I will go ahead and talk to you as I pour. So for fire, I learned that that is the zodiac signs. For, um, let me see, the Aries, the Leo, and the Sagittarius which I thought was really interesting. I'm not totally into zodiac signs. You guys can let me know if you are. Oh, I wanted these colors. These are gonna be too alike. Maybe I'll put the bronze in there now. And then I'm gonna blow each corner set out. So, um, so that's heat and dry for the qualities and they are passionate driven and competitive. So I thought that was really interesting. Let me get to my next set of colors, which I will do, I think maybe I'll do the opposite. I'll do those when I go over to the other side. So I think I'm gonna do the blues up here and the blues, and I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the blue just to, to even things out. Um, but the blue is for the water. Oh, let me do it on this side so you guys can see. And the water, again, not an expert. I was just learning about this as I go, but the water is basically uh, sensitive and very creative. If you think like free flowing water, that's kind of how I was thinking about it. Um, and the water signs were the Cancer, the Scorpio, and um, the Pisces, duh, Pisces for water. Let me see now, I think I'll add a little more blue and you guys can check out all my colors in the description below because there are so many colors. I don't even know how this is going to go with this many colors. Okay. So let me get around on the other side for the other two sets. Okay. On to the other side. So this is going to be, I think I'll do them cat corner. So this will be the earth and I could be doing this wrong. If there's some symbol or something, I, you know, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments if you have experience with this at all. Oops, I kind of got away a little bit from the design that I was doing. Um, but so for the earth, I think I'll do, oops, just stuck my whole hand in it. <laughs> for the earth side, I had a little bit of, it's supposed to be brown, but I did a little bit of copper. Um, and that one is grounded, they are sensible, um, organized, and they are, cold and dry. So the fire was heat and dry and the, okay, I got all those colors and the water uh, was cold and moisture, moisture, duh. Okay. So the last side here will be the yellow and this one is air. And that's actually me because I am a Gemini. And so those were, I don't know if I told you the earth ones or not, but the um, air ones, put a little bit of gold in this one, and then a little bit of white. So the, get that. Okay, I'm gonna torch all this. So air was Gemini. 
and Libra and Aquarius. And then the last one that I did, that was air. Um, and then earth over here was Taurus and Virgo and Capricorn. So I thought that was really cool. And air is social, curious, and talkative. Like, hello guys, that's me, <laughs> right? So I was like, okay, well that makes a lot of sense. But I just thought it was so interesting and I knew nothing about it. So um, actually uh, one of my Instagram followers recommended this. So thank you so much. And I just thought, what a great idea after I had done that three corner blowout to do an elements one with a four corner blowout. So here goes nothing. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh, y'all, the cells on this blue side. Wow. Absolutely stunning. I think that color needed to come over. Oh my gosh. What? Maybe I should have put white in that one too. I don't want to re-blow over it now, but what on earth? That's amazing. Okay, all right. Now for Earth. I said, what on Earth? Here comes Earth. I kind of wish I would have put the white into each one because I love the cell reaction. I'm using Amsterdam white mixed with uh, just some water and just a little bit of pouring medium and I love the cells that it created. I think I might re-pour this red part right here just a little bit and just pour straight through the center there to get those that, that lacing again. So bear with me, maybe a little bit of copper. I mean, sorry, bronze. Bronze for the red side. And then a little bit of this white. Now I know this is going off character from the original pour, so please nobody kill me if they're upset about that. I didn't get quite the same lacing that I wanted. That's because there's not a lot of paint to move back there, so I'm gonna have to pour a little bit more, I think, on the green side. I really like this, though. It's very, very cool. Um, and then here's my copper on this one, lime green, and then a little bit of this white. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I might blow out a little bit more on this red side here. Oh yeah, I like that better. I don't want to touch that blue side. Okay, here we go. going to kind of drag along to the center to make them kind of converge. My black is a little bit thick, you guys, so 
and I want them to converge. Yeah, I wish I had put the colors just a little bit closer together to start, um, but I think it's really pretty. The thing is, don't tap your finger too much. Just kind of grab the paint and drag it in. One of my viewers said that she was helping me do this as I was doing it in the three corner blowout. Okay, last color here. I'll show you, you guys are gonna be like amazed when you see the lacing that happened in that blue. That dark blue, you can't really see it that well, dragging it into the center. This red, I'm gonna move it on down from here. Oh, I like the little, the wispies that are happening there. Oh yeah, I like it, believe it or not. Okay, all right, let me show you. Okay, you guys, look at the lacing and the cells that popped up in there. I think it's this Amsterdam white that I'm using. It's really, really beautiful. There's the center where they all kind of converge. I like that. There's that gold. I'm gonna have to buy like jars of this Amsterdam. There's that green that I added. Wow, I love it. All right, I'll see how this dries and I'll see you guys back. Okay guys, so here it is, dry. It is beautiful. Um, I, I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me if I was supposed to put these in specific places, like the colors, I'm not sure, because like I said, I just don't know as much about, um, about like all the signs, but I really liked the color inspiration. So there was earth, and then there's fire. Look at those cells. Dried just like that too. Beautiful. And the cells down here. So earth, fire, and then here is, whoops, got a little too close there. Where are those cells? There they are. Look at that. That's water. Okay. And then there's how that center dried together. And then here is, those were the cells I liked too, right there. And this is kind of a metallic, you can't really see it, that gold. But yeah, so there it is. You guys can let me know your thoughts. I really like it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Bye.